10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top, allumage P120, décollage. Propulseur nominal, début du basculement. Propulseur nominal. Pilotage calme. Trajectoire nominale. Acquisition Saint-Jean. Trajectoire toujours nominale. Sunrise over the Amazon rainforest wow. and biomass has started its journey, blazing a trail on board the rocket on its quest to understand forests just like the one it's lifted off from, on its mission for Earth and for our future. We can wow, hear it amazing. flying over the... Amazing pictures and yeah, we can feel the, <laughs> the, the walls. Shaking I mean, here shaking. Wow. at the uh, Jupiter Mission Control Trajectoire Center. Nominal. He's telling us that everything is going well. Yeah, so far it's perfect. We are lucky to, to see it so long, it's, it's, uh, given the cloud we had at the beginning. Getting some great views here from yeah. our cameras. Burning the P120 first stage here which is getting us away from the gravity, nominale, le est calme. the gravity of our planet. Range operations manager there telling us that the trajectory is nominal and the pilotage, the piloting. Yeah, control of the, of the thrust, uh, the orientation of the thrust as well. So it, it's uh, nominal means everything's fine. Good. <laughs> Coming up Début poussé. on the Separation of the P120 will be the first event. La trajectoire est nominale. Everything's going according to plan. Fantastic Potentially views. Actually, we could see it from 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 the cameras. It could, could be nice. Yeah, should occur in a few seconds now. Indeed, the uh, this is the scheduled moment for the can, separation. Separation P120. And it's just confirmed. So he's just confirmed that we've separated the P120 stage. We've switched on the second stage, the Z40. Everything's going normal, normally. And Z, what does that stand Z for? Z is for, yeah, Zephyro. It's, it's an Italian name for a type of wind. Because I guess it's a bit windy when you're on board. Such, a, <laughs> such a booster. <laughs> Look at that. Fantastic. We're seeing it. We're three minutes and uh, 11 seconds into the launch, and we can still see it with our, our cameras, which is, is very exciting. So we've got clear skies here at the Guiana Space Center. Amazing, yeah. Oh. We had several weeks of rain, and suddenly it's been very clear. The trajectoire du lanceur est nominal. He's telling us that the trajectory of the rocket is normal. It's perfectly as planned. And of course, the fairing, which is where our satellite is encapsulated at this point, Samuel, is uh, the nose cone, if you like. We saw it before the launch. Est nominal, le est calme. And it has uh, a, yeah, a multiple it's got a, a number of jobs, hasn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it basically protects uh, biomass from a number of, of environments. First, the, of course, the Guiana environment, the, the rain and the dust, everything. But also at liftoff, we have when we Début fire the uh, booster, there is a quite a high acoustic vibration environment. Then the fairing is used to damp it and as well to. Uh, Trajectoire nominale, pilotage calme. As we go through the atmosphere, it uh, helps uh, reducing the, um, the heat load generated by the friction with the atmosphere or, or the vibration. So it's um, quite a, a clever piece of, uh, of hardware, yeah. Very important. You can see it at the front of the rocket there, the sort of bulbous section. Right, we have now the scheduled moment to separate the Z40 to jettison that. Separation Z40. That's so we been just confirmation that the Z040 stage has been separated. And Allumage Z9. 
Séparation des coiffes. And we have and we have it. Yeah. So uh, we can see our satellite for the first time, Samuel. Why don't you explain to people what we're looking at here on these uh, computer-generated images? Yeah, on the left of the screen, you can see uh, on the first on the right passenger with, of course, uh, its uh, its radar and solar panel folded. It's uh, attached to the what remains uh, of the launcher, which is rather small as compared to what was on the pad, uh, through the adapter, this black cone, and then you have the upper stage, uh, which is a, a, a tiny, uh, well, a slice, a white slice of the of the launcher, and on the La left, trajectoire du lanceur est nominal. the Defiro 9 stage, uh, which is still uh, thrusting our passenger into space. And of course, once biomass is separated from the mothership, it'll unfold its solar wing. It has one solar wing made up of uh, four solar panels. And of course, it's amazing, great big uh, reflector, which looks like a huge space umbrella. Yeah. So uh, quickly, um, let's just explain to people what we're looking at on the screen. So we've got the 3D images, which are computer generated. Yeah, and, and they correspond to the plan. La pression chambre est nominale, la trajectoire est nominale. It illustrates what the um, launcher plus biomass behavior should be in space, the orientation towards the sun or towards the earth, for instance. Of course, the altitude, uh, the different stages separation, of, as, as, we, as we saw. And, uh, and of course, the, um, the real orientation and firing, as, as we see here. And you can see on the left side of the screen are the various events that as they as they happen and then on the right hand de side poussée. of the screen the trajectory and we also have the altitude uh, at the moment we're 663 kilometers high. 263 yeah. Sorry, so 263 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we will be getting closer exactly. to 600 not meters. yet <laughs> <laughs> and our distance is uh, our distance from the pad if you were to draw a straight line across our planet and look at that speed we are traveling Samuel it's 7.53 kilometers per second. This is quite fast, yeah. This is roughly, well, 8 kilometers per second, just for, for people to, to have an idea. It's 30 times the velocity of a commercial aircraft. So it's fast. Yeah, about 27, 28,000 uh, yeah. miles per uh, kilometers per second. Per hour. And, and here is, the, we are just confirmation of the separation of the third stage, the Firo 9. Indeed. And Acquisition de la télémesure par la station Bermude. There, he's announcing that we're picking up the signal at the Bermuda tracking station, which you can see there on the globe. Uh, Bermuda, of course, in the northern Caribbean. Um, du Jet 9, uh, correct. I'm sure it's all very, uh, very sunny as the sun rises there. Very pleasant weather, I'm sure. Um, checking in there at Bermuda and saying hello to the teams. So our flight path takes us, what, north yeah. up over the North Pole? Exactly, yeah. we'll fly after the, the Canada, we'll fly over the Arctic and then back down over South East Asia and to the west coast of Australia where we will uh, separate biomass. Début de la manoeuvre d'orientation pour le premier boost à Vôme. So he's saying we are orienting, the, uh, doing a, a set of maneuvers to orient correctly the, um, the launcher to fire the uh, upstage Avon Plus which should occur in a second or two. Allumage de l'Avum. So we have confirmation that the Avon Plus upper stage has switched its engine on, and that's an important moment, uh, an important milestone. We've uh, really now started the next phase of the journey because the Avon Plus is uh, a little bit like our orbital taxi driver. Its job is to deliver our passenger to its drop-off point in space, and that's a very important job. Yes, indeed, and it's, it's the Avon Plus job, as you said, uh, to deliver biomass exactly on the right orbit, in the correct orientation, and to do that, we, we need to perform with this upper stage um, precise set of maneuvers, uh, and we'll see two firings. This is the first firing, and we'll have another one later in, in the mission, and uh, this will enable to reach a, the separation orbit, which Propulsion is... Du lanceur nominal, pilotage calme which is circular at 670 kilometer altitude in about 49 minutes. Fin de visibilité Galio. Trajectoire nominale, propulsion nominale. 
so we've uh, gone out of the range of the Galio tracking station. That was the tracking station here at the spaceport, and everything's going well. Uh, big space projects like biomass involve hundreds, sometimes thousands of people pulling together to make them happen. They involve brain power, teamwork, lots of problem-solving skills. And actually lots of coffee cups as well, or tea. <laughs> lots of cups of tea in this case, yes, because biomass has been designed, built, and tested by the European aerospace giant Airbus Defence and Space, and a lot of that's been done in the, in the UK. And 